Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Forest Harvest Films and Hi, Doug T. Good afternoon. Good afternoon and happy Friday. We are recapping Big Brother Season 21, Episode 17. The and, and we are back to the eviction episode. Dun, dun, dun. When we left our last when we left our eyes guys last um Dick had won the POV. He took himself off the block and Catherine went up, Catherine went up supposedly as a pawn. Yes, now will that stand as a pawn? The Sam this over the past few days worked his magic and apparently we didn't get to see it. But apparently there was drama right up into just before the live show. Now the problem is the feed's cut off yeah. about an hour or so before the show airs, so even the pieces didn't get to see what happened. So uh, Julie kind of like that. Judy, Julie basically said even right up to right when the show started, there was drama. I mean, they literally didn't know what was going on. Because remember, up until this episode, it was definitely Sam. Well, Sam worked his magic over the last little while. We know that the rest of the six, like Jackson and Holly and that, had the suspicions about Christy. And that she's really been working the other side. Yeah. Well, she kind of is because really, if you think about it, she kind of knows that she'd be on the bottom of the couples. Yeah. And that's what makes up the majority of the six is Jack and uh, Annalise and Jackson and Holly. Yeah. And really, Tommy and Chrissy are kind of a couple, but not in the way they are. So, and they're still trying to keep their distance a little bit. Yeah, well, of course. People still don't know they know each other inside the house. It, it's, a, it's, so, it's a sound strategy, which is trying Oh, you to bet. Do. Because she, they could have been knocked off by now. Yeah, she smells that there's a, a change in the wind. And she's noticed it for the past few times, we noticed, and she's, she's talked about that. And it makes sense that she would try to make alliances outside that. I would do the same thing. You know, it, it's only good strategy, right? Um, you, get, you know, your son is only going to stay in power for uh, a So long, and she knows that. She knows, and it, it's good strategy to make friends on the other side of the house. Sure. The power's not always going to stay in your hands. It just doesn't do that. You know, it, it flip-flops. So it's actually good to try to keep yourself off the other side's radar. And of she's course. done a pretty good job of doing yeah. that. So, but they've kind of become a little more suspicious of this. And now other people are trying to save their butts, like Nick, and that have been telling them this. Yeah. Um, Annalise told them stuff that Christy has told them, Christy and Tommy told them. And at first, remember, Holly didn't believe it. She thought Annalise was trying to stir the pot. But now Sam has said he knows some things. He's trying to save well, his butt. Well, like he said, uh, like he said, if I, if I know I'm probably going to go out the door. I might I'm going to try to fight. I got to toss a few grenades into the room. Right. And yeah. see what sticks. Because he's trying to make them see that he'd be the better choice to keep. Yeah. Basically, because he says he oh. won't go after Jack and Jackson, right? Oh, but so he'll go after Christy. Now, if that's true or not, I don't know. Because he has said before his main targets are Jack and Jackson. Yeah. Now, he could be just telling them what they want to hear. True. You know, I would. I think most oh, people would. So, he tells them that Christy told him, which is kind of true, that he, she doesn't want to go to the final, like, four, final six, basically, with any of the couples. Because she knows she'll be on the bottom. They take each other over her. I don't know. They might, they might not, depending on if they think they can win against them or win but, against, more know, likely I, win against Christy. I can kind of see her logic, though, you know? Oh, yeah, it's good logic, of course. You know, and, you know, and all this happening, and what he mentioned, this all happened around the time she had that little meltdown. Remember? Well, yeah, because she thought um, she was going up, and they wondered why she would think that way because she's part of their alliance. But because of, <laughs> remember, like they showed that even though, like, I believe it was Mickey, it was like asking her, How are you? or whatever it was Nick. Yeah. Uh, asking, you know, how are you all that? And she seemed I'm she's, going up and she had a freak out. <laughs> yeah, she snowballed right downhill. And like, and uh, there was nothing in anything he said that would have told her she was going up. So it made no sense that she, she would even go that wonky with it. But 
I don't know. You know, so um, Kat just kind of sat back because she thought she was, from what we saw, she thought she was safe. You know, but well, because she has final two of Holly, yeah, and so she knew, it, like, because Holly's age away, and she figured the other ones would do what she wanted. They pretty much have it the entire season. Oh, for sure. But because Sam has been going off and telling them stuff, they start to question. Maybe they should keep Sam to watch Christy and get rid of Kat instead. Yeah. So Holly didn't like that idea. She's like, no. I can't lose her. I don't want, I can't, you know, she has final two. Nobody else does, but, you know, she, she has final two of Kat, so she doesn't want her to go home. And... And she's like saying to Mickey, no, 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 she can't go home. And now she regrets not putting up Nicole instead with Sam. Hindsight's 2020, kids. Well, Sam, I mean, like, think logically, or Sam still is a bigger threat over Nicole. Oh, that's you know, question. really. So, and like, can you really trust Sam to keep his word? Well, he might be telling you what you need to hear, but they seem to be. I, this is what I noticed about those side of house. They actually can be used as swayed if if you say the right thing. <laughs> I noticed the, this about this house. And to the right people. Well, this is what I mean. Like yeah. to like Holly, to sis, Jackson can be kind of sway, persuaded. Jack, I don't know. He might have been a little bit more skeptical when Mickey told him about this because he's like I don't know if she Why would she's, she be more that smart, she's more intelligent than this so I don't know if Jack I never sent believes he spent a lot of time with Christy so I don't know if he ever percent believes this or not but again we didn't get to see what happened just before at the live show oh, so it sounded like Son and like Trump and Sue because they said when they walked when she came into work that day right you know they said oh my God. Yeah. You know, take a look at what's been going on. Right. You know. They said they'll show this on Sunday, like what's going on, but we're like, what happened? Of course, they're not going to tell you because they want the drama for Sunday's episode. Well, but it's, it's like, oh, here, try this, but you can't have any more. And I, oh, it's so annoying when you hear that, you know. Uh, but you know, but it, it's sketchy to watch on Sunday, of course, oh, for right? Sure. For sure. So, um, they also showed like other tidbits for the week, like Tommy showing them how to dance. That was, I thought that was actually cute. They actually did, they actually did pretty well, and they showed them, they got to see it on the monitor as well. You know, if, if they had stayed with Tommy, you could have seen like the, the red come up on him, but. Very good choreographer. He could be uh, if he, when he finishes performing. He could yeah. go into choreography. Exactly. They, I mean, they, even though some of them aren't as good at dancers as others, they all did pretty well. Yeah, I think I mean, they all they all pretty much kept in time. And it looked like it was a pretty uh, intricate not, dance. Intricate dance routine. Yeah, it was pretty. It, yeah, it had a lot of different steps. <laughs> so it was pretty good. Well, I would rather see that than see the one where they get through the house. Or... Well, yeah, because that's more, um, there's more to it. Like, they, yeah. it's, it doesn't take a lot of strength and run around. Exactly. You know, I mean, that's been done. I don't know how many times now, but uh, you know, at least something like this, it gives them something fun to do and it gives Peter something fun to watch. And Christy and Tommy are now BB Poison Ivy Free. Yes, yes, yes. Because they got their calamine lotion that they're completely covered in paint. And then now, but they are now free. <laughs> and I, I remember Tommy going, I can have a shower. I can have a shower. Because remember, for like four days, they weren't allowed to have a shower. Man. <laughs> That's a funky boat. Like. And they couldn't go outside either. So they were happy they could go outside. <laughs> so, but, you know, it kind of works in their favor. They're stuck indoors, everyone else going around. They could kind of, you know, work whatever they need to work, blah, blah, blah. I think Christy more than Tommy. I think Christy's the one uh, leading that charge. It was up to doing it every year. Um, so, like, they're, they're kind of like this season's Mike and Boogie. Kind of, although Christy's oh, not as uh, mean. Boogie, uh, Boogie and uh, Will could be um, mean. 
at times. Yeah. Will did all the, uh, the big thinking. Thing. Thinking and Moody following him. Really. Oh, let's face it. Will got me in the end twice. Oh. Let's face it. <laughs> um, and if this is the same with Christy and, and um, Tommy, it'll be Christy get Tommy in oh. the end. <laughs> Tommy's got a good social game, but he's not very strategic. No. Although, he seems to have some compassion and stuff, so that's nice. And that, he kind of grows on me with that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So now it's eviction, and like like Julie said, right up to literally the last second, they were going to vote a cat apparently. So we got to see how that turned about and what happened right at the end there. To you know, so it actually ended up being unanimously they voted out Sam, and they didn't look too happy about it either. <laughs> You know, he was all hugs and smiles, but, you know. No, they didn't look too happy yeah. about it. I mean, of course, he's not happy about it. But I'm saying, like, it makes you think, right up until the last minute, apparently, they were going to vote at Catherine. So what happened in that last little while that made them get rid of Sam? That's going to be interesting to see on Sunday. So he kind of, you know, they all say goodbye. He comes out to Julie. Um... They play the goodbye. Uh, yeah, they yeah, get goodbye messages. And uh, so, um, HOH competition. And then we're going to be H-O-H, H-O-H, which we didn't get to see all of, but basically. Um, it's like an expo kind of thing. Yeah, where they, they had the, um, like these ads that they had to watch, and which with them. And they had to remember as much as they could, and then they'd be asked questions about it. But that will be Sunday's episode. Yeah. So we didn't get. We already know who won H O H, and this oh, could nice make house. this could make an interesting next oh. week. But it, as usual, we won't tell you until Sunday because right. some people like spoilers, so um, we don't want to spoil it for you. Um, also, America's vote. Yes, America's vote is now. The field trip has arrived. So, and we found out a little bit more about it. It's three people. Um, the first one, it, and it's competition that I have to do. First one wins safety for the week. Second one gets a punishment. And the third one is the third nominee for the week. The okay. one that comes in last. So, guys, when you do vote, vote strategically. Vote strategic. Like Jack Jackson, you know, somebody else. You know. <laughs> So like, that, cause like Julie said, or like they said, who do you vote for? Do you want to vote for somebody you want to give, try to give safety to, or do you want to vote for somebody you want to try to get out and on the block? You know, who knows if we'll ever get Jack and Jackson on the block again? So this would be one way to potentially do that, especially if they lose the competition. That's, see, that's the thing. Uh, I, I'm gonna roll the dice, take a chance. Who knows if I'm gonna ever get these two guys up? It's it's a shot it's a at them trip. anyway, and then they might realize. How much America dislikes these two? <laughs> Once they find out there's really only one good thing, because the other two is either a punishment or a nominee, that would show them how much they actually dislike by the fans. Vote at least Jack and Jackson or and whoever else from the six years. After you watch this episode, go. Dude, we can't because we're in Canada. So you guys do it. Do it for us. Do it for the fans. <laughs>